going on ladies and gentlemen we're at the house of blues in los angeles california i just witnessed the show of a lifetime it was so much fun she shut it down how does it feel you packed the house just to be able to come to la your first show it to sell out everybody know every word it's really exciting like what can you say like they know your music thank you finally it moves you it makes you excited and it, yeah i'm just now i'm calming down with you. So many people know you from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, mm -hmm. but your journey didn't start there. I was just trying to get new management, get a new deal, and you know, the show came, management came, everything came all at once, and then this mixtape came, and that's when everything changed. Rebellious Soul is in stores right now. Yes, go buy it, not at the beauty shop. Get it. Okay. Go really purchase it. And it's crazy because you have one of the best-selling R&B albums of the year yeah. and you're looking at established acts who are not stacking up to the K. Michelle. How does that make you feel? Great. But so many people, you know, talk so crazy about me and they still do, but they talk crazy while they listening to my album. You were the queen of stun glasses, uh, of stun glasses and, and so much shade. Like, literally. The shade. <laughs> I have to put my reading glasses on when this when I get around you. Cause where did you learn? Where did that mouth come from? Because the shit you say, literally, like in addition to jamming out tonight, like people were cracking up. It's like you're a comedian. It's it's not even right. Life is funny anyway. So I just find myself telling the truth, and people start laughing. I know when I was young, I used to always be so angry. And I would just be angry because everything I would say, people would laugh when I was my most serious. You're like, I'm so serious though. Like, it don't even bother me no more. I'd be dead serious and people still laugh, so. Mm -hmm. I, I have to play a game with you. Okay, let's play. Where I allow you to choose either or, okay? So if you had to choose between a collaboration with Lil' Kim or Nicki Minaj, who would you choose? Um, I like both of them. Me and Lil' Kim were working on something the other day and um, Nikki, um, I'm doing mix and the pretty gang with Nikki, so I do have a record on my album that I'm looking to get Nikki on. Mm -hmm. So I plan on working with both of them. So guess what? We have a collaboration with both coming soon. Yes. Um, do you have a preference of a Rihanna or a Beyonce? Um, you know, I always stand out for the queen, but I like, um, I like Rihanna because I feel like me and her would have a good time, great time hanging. Mm -hmm. So I like both of them. Yeah, because both of y'all talk so much shit. Yes, yes, and I like that, Rihanna. So. Turn up! <laughs> have you toned tone down at all, or have you decided that you need to stick to stick to what it is? I have. You know, I've been trying to live peaceful. I've been trying not to curse nobody out. Um, you know, I only, you know, come for people when they bother me. A lot of things I'm having to go back and clean up. You know, people be scared of me. So I, I can't imagine why. I, literally, I'm afraid. I'm like shaking right now. I'm like, oh shit! No, I, don't I don't want anybody to be scared of me. I'm really cool. Like I'm a really cool person. So I did need to reevaluate some things within my behavior, character, and attitude, so that that won't overshadow my body of work and my musicality. So yeah, I did listen a little bit. With me, it's just about counting to ten before I say something. <laughs> You know, giving it a minute before I act on emotion. I do need to work on that. And I would say that would be my biggest thing, just being an emotional person. Oh, we got an amen in the background. What I need to know is the next single and when we're going to shoot a video. I know there's a song that the fans are loving so much. When you can't raise a man, right? Uh -huh. right? You, can't, <laughs> you can't raise him. That is my next single, That's Can't it. Raise a Man, and we've already shot the video. So um, in the next couple of weeks, uh, they're going to be going to radio with it. Okay. So. so we're gearing up and we're ready, and the fans already know every word, and they're excited about it, so I'm excited about it too. People relate to that, because it's like when you look at all these grown-ass men acting out, yeah, yeah, yeah. and grown-ass women acting out. Well, yeah, <laughs> about men right now. <laughs> But there are a lot of grown, grown boys. I just don't understand where they come from. Mm -hmm. And what was, what is a piece of advice you could give to a grown man who just needs to grow up a little bit? Leave me the hell alone. I can say because I saw you tonight. Like you gave it 100. Thank you. And in addition to giving it 100, like vocals were on point. Like I felt it going up 
and down, no struggle at all. Like, no the struggle bus was like... I wasn't on that struggle bus, trying not to be up there. I just get up there, you know, I might do the throw code, I might be quiet for the day, you know. Just trying to make sure it's on point. I think when people pay to see you, they don't want to hear excuses. They want to hear you do what you're supposed to do. So, I don't ever want somebody to walk away and be like, oh my God, K. Michelle did not do what she was supposed to do. And is there, are you working on another album or are you just working on promoting what you got out right now? I've been doing um, some things. I got a couple songs coming out um, around Christmas. And um, I'm always trying to think of things and record things so your album won't just be condensed into three months, but it still can, you know, the issues still can, you know, go over your lifespan or whatever you have going on at that time. So I'm not fully in the studio for another album. I still have two singles off of it, but I am thinking about what I want this new album to be about.